Hades Omega here and just doing a little show and tell unboxing of my uh, Alter Yukikaze Mave uh, pre-built model. So uh, if you watched uh, my previous video on the Super Self, then, uh, then you'd know that I, was, I had my eye on, on the Mave. So. So the Mave is actually the um, is the second incarnation of uh, Yukikaze. After uh, after this one gets blown up, uh, oh yeah, I don't want to spoil it. It's it's quite an old anime. If you haven't watched it by now, then uh, you probably you probably should know that um, after this one explodes, um, Yukikaze transfers itself to this uh, this plane, and then this becomes a Yukikaze. So. This is the box. It's very similar to the Super Sylphs box. It's very shiny too, so it doesn't really come up very well. Get the camera. But uh, I'll have some better pictures of the box later. But same box, similar box, different art. Like the Super Sylph, it has like a little window in the front. It's a Yukikaze kanji, and there it is in the box. So you can see it through the window. It's still in there. I haven't taken it out yet to play with it, but uh, I will in a second. But yeah, there it is. So you can see all the missiles, the plane itself. Looks like it has a. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's external fuel tank. Looks like the the some ramjets. So supposedly this one can transform according to the box. Okay, well according to the box, yeah, there's different uh different modes you can set it up in. So there's a laser auto cannon and missile mode, there's a high speed mode, and a bomb and booster unit. And uh something about an early type. I guess you can you can make it look like the the first version before the ramjets or something. Yeah, it's been a while since I watched the anime, so <laughs> there it is. Beautiful box art. Oh, pictures. That's the side of the box. It's a one one hundred scale pre painted model. And let me talk about this for a little, little while. Um, it's actually uh, it's actually um, took me quite a while to get this because uh, this was released in October, and then uh, and they sold out. They sold out. They keep on selling out. Like like I think HLJ sold out around around January or something, and then uh, and then I saw found out they had them on Amiami. And then, um, and then they sold out on Amiami, so, so I kept on, kept on uh, postponing it and postponing it. And then I actually found it. I was looking at the, in the used section, the pre-owned uh, um, figures and model section of the Amiami website, and uh, and then I found one. I was like, hey, it's a pre-owned one, so I probably can get it for a little cheaper too. So, but yeah, it looks it's in the great shape for being pre-owned. Tell you that. And, uh, yeah, let me see how much it costed me. So, uh, I paid about, uh, 11,000 yen for this guy through Amiami. And it was, a uh, supposedly it was used, it's a pre-owned, uh, model. But, uh, it looks pretty new to me still. But uh, I guess that's the only way I could get it because uh, these are sold out like everywhere unless you want to pay like a hundred fifty dollars for it. I think uh, I think um, brand new they're about one twenty when Amiami still had them or HLJ. So it's a little more than the than the Super Sylph here. So uh, let's take it out. 
So there it is in the box. Comes in this like kind of. It's got a couple tiers, clamshell uh, case, and there's a manual down here. And I'm assuming the manual is going to be very important. So let's take a look at it. So there it is. It's a picture of the Maeve. FFR41MR. So this is actually supposed to be a drone. It uh, it's a has like a AI or something, kind of like the ghost in the Macross Plus. But there you go. There's a little inventory, of all the parts you get. Sorry, I can't read Japanese, but I guess these are bombs. These are different kinds of missile configurations. Some big ones, some small ones. I think. Uh, these are some other air-to-air -air missile. Air-to-air -air missile. So I guess they go on these pylon things here. Some ramp jets. And other stuff. Cool. I guess this is another inventory sheet. It's got landing gears. It's got a base. Base very similar to the um, Super Sylphs tools that are very important and uh, tells you how to put everything together here oh yeah this is a lot more uh, you can do a lot more stuff with the body on this one than the super self so I can understand why it costs more. <laughs> Plus it's rad looking, right? This shows you the different weapons configurations. Looks like it can hold more weapons than the Super Self too. Yeah, it sure does. All I can say is the the weapons configurations on the Super Self are kind of we're lacking. <laughs> and that's, uh, look, 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 there's more. Just take a quick look. It's there. You can have it so it's dropping a bomb. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and there are these, um, like uh, space booster attachments. That's really what those are. They let it maneuver in a, a vacuum or something. Pretty cool. Got some pictures from the anime. There's some specs for it. Sorry, I can't read Japanese. Apparently it looks like it can withstand nine plus Gs. That's quite a bit. And that's the manual. Gary Air Force. Okay, so I got everything separated and boy it was a bitch getting it apart. So um the smaller runner here, our little clamshell dealy, uh, actually um goes underneath here and they're kind of taped together and there are six of these wire ties holding them together and I don't know, you can see where they were see, like, one of them was like right here another one right here but there were six of them and they're a real pain to get out so finally I have freed it I have freed it I have freed it and also uh, the price I paid for this pre-owned uh, completed model kit, it was um, about uh, 11,000 yen, which comes out to about about 100 bucks. So I think it's about 120 if you bought it brand new. I I can't even tell. I can't even tell if this is used or not. Like there, it was packaged so tightly. Maybe maybe that's why it was so hard to get out. These things are have been in there twice or something or. Hopefully, maybe they just kept it in the box, but it's an 
it's an excellent shape for a pre-owned uh, toy. So, uh, all right, let's go open these up. All right, as you can see, I've gotten one of the covers off. Oh my God, I found a two two more wire ties right here, and one of them I just absolutely could not get off. Uh, like they like tied it there, like it was some kind of joke or something. But I used these to free it. I said, forget it. I'm probably not gonna tie it back up again. So there it is. It's in there, and there it's very nice. Um, hmm, it seems to be missing something here. I wonder what's supposed to be in there. Hmm, that's a good question. Yeah. Seems to be missing. There's supposed to be another pilot. Hmm. Oh, I'll have to look around for it. Unless it's already inside there. Nope. So there it is. Some of the stuff has already started to come off. I don't remember the Super Silk being that hard to get out of that box. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. It's all the missiles and stuff. It comes with a lot of them. I, I want to put the, the maximum amount of missiles on this guy. <laughs> okay, check the other one out. Okay, so uh, I, found, I found another wire tie, and there was a bunch of tape all over this. Oh, God. They package it so... I think there's, it borders on an un, unnecessary amount of packaging, right? There it is. It's all the parts. I wonder what these are. Come on, focus. These look like thrusters. There's the base. Not really sure what these are. They look like um, nozzles. Thrust nozzles. I think that's like a laser cannon. Yeah, this is this is a badass plane. I'll tell you that. Has <laughs> a freaking laser cannon. It's landing gear. So there it is. Well, let's go put it together.